This example comes from Zed Shaw's Learn Python the Hard Way, Exercise 16. First, I created a plain text file in Text Wrangler, which is a text editor for Mac. I saved it as test.txt, then I closed the file. This is the Python file from Exercise 16. It's also in Text Wrangler. I'm going to run the file in Terminal. You can see all the files in my directory, including test.txt. To run the program, I type Python, then the name of my program file, and then the name of the text file, test.txt. I run the program, test.txt. Then it pauses to let me type something. I'm going to switch back over to Text Wrangler and open test.txt to see what the result is. I open test.txt and it's now empty, blank. That's what the program did in Python. It erased all the text in my file. I close the text file and I go back to terminal. Now I'll type three lines, one at a time, at the prompt. This is the Python program I wrote running. It's asking me to enter some new text. When I'm finished, it's going to write that text into my separate file, the one named test.txt. The Python program closes the text file to save it. Let's check the text file again. First, open it, and voila! The text I typed in Terminal was written into this file by my Python program. So, to review, my Python program allowed the user, me, to enter three lines of text. You're looking at that part of the program here in Text Wrangler. When the program runs, in Terminal, it looks like this. When I go back to my existing text file, I find the new text is there. Normally, you will not be typing the text yourself you will use a Python program to go out to the web, to databases, and collect data for you. Then Python will save that collected data for you by writing it into a text file on your computer like this.